Hello. Hello. Welcome to a new video. Today we've got the Minnie Mouse main attraction for July. Yes. And it's all uh, the carousel, which I think has a very Mary Poppins vibe, so I might have gone a little bit crazy. Mmm. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> One of everything. Yeah. <laughs> but we thought we would show you, um, especially as we know that uh, this isn't available in America yet, so yes. we could basically look at what will eventually be coming to Shop Disney America. And also we could point out any issues you may have. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose we should start with the ears, because... Ears are the first one, yeah. Clearly these aren't the ears that... No. Came I mean, they're, they're very funny and they don't really look like a carousel to me, but... <laughs> it probably ended in disaster though, wasn't it? Yeah, chaos and disaster. So, these are the ears, and the reason why they're not on the head is I need to cut off the extremely long tag. What's that all about? So you've already cut off the uh, the actual card, and it came with a plastic hand hanger this time as well. Like yeah. it's going to be in the store, but it never actually made it. Yeah. So, but they've also put this ridiculous length of tag on. So. Mm -hmm. But I think the close up it's got focus. Yeah, there we go. A carousel horse. And then just the bow and rose. And then are they fleur de lis? Fleur de lis. Oh look at me, knowing <laughs> stuff. Um, so you know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> on the front they are pink and then on the back it's just got gold fleur de lis. And the headband is just a out of focus, sparkly blue. <laughs> <laughs> you said the headband actually looked like the aerial ears that you've got. Yes, in fact, the aerial ears are just there. So, if you... oh yes. So, here's the aerial ears. Now, I think they are pretty much the pretty same headband, close. and also pink inside as well. They're basically just a slightly different fabric, but they're more or less the same, aren't they? Yeah. So the headband is exactly the same, and then they've just changed the, the actual ear elements on. Yeah, so I will say, in typical Shop Disney fashion, they're not really putting any protection around the ears. No. Nope. So if you look on the fleur de lis on the back of these ones, nope. there we go. you probably see that the fleur de lis is quite scratched, and that's because the other stuff that was in the box has sort of scratched the design a bit, but I figure. I don't wear ears when I'm on certain rides anyway, no. so like Big Thunder Mountain, they'd be taken off and shoved in my bag, they'd get that type of scratch on them anyway, so yeah. I'm not too bothered. I think these are going to get scratched up really easily. Yeah, which, you know, hmm. Mm. But these are the first time I've actually been able to get the ears from any of the sets. Yeah, we've had no luck whatsoever no. on any other month. But this month we managed to get the ears, and we also managed to get, for the first month ever, the bag, <laughs> which I clearly have not unwrapped. So let's do it together. Ooh. So these bags come very well protected. They do. So they have like a little thing over the ears. Yeah, to stop them getting munched in the, in the bag. Which, if I could do that with the flush, that would be bloody brilliant. But yeah. No. So, anyway, there is the bag. So it's sequined, it's got little mini ears, the bow, and then it's got the carousel horse. I've got to say, these look really fancy. And then the back is just plain with gold straps. And it's basically just your typical. Lounge fly bag. Standard size lounge fly. Yeah. And it's packed full of paper as well to keep it shape. The back seems to get a lot of curve. Which makes me wonder whether lounge fly actually packaged all the bags up and then just took, give them in bulk to Disney because yeah. I don't think that Shop Disney would go to this much effort to no, be honest. No, I don't think they would. But if I get all this paper out, <laughs> or at least enough of the paper out, you can see the inside of the bag. Maybe you can see. There you go. It's got the fleur de lis pattern as well that matches on the ears. 
It's a really nice bag. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I was about to say, you're made up that you've got this one, haven't you? Yeah, I'll be honest, this was the one of the first ones where I sort of went, I want everything. Um, I would have liked everything for Tiki Room. Yeah. But I know that Tiki Room was going to be really popular. Yeah. And I didn't think that the carousel would be as popular. And I think the only reason I want it is because of the Mary Poppins vibes that I got from it. <laughs> Plus, I really like the carousel. You hate it, don't you? No, oh, it's okay. You just don't like the queue. No, the queue's not even that bad, it's just, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, it's not my favourite, but it's not like a, a ride out of void either. Whereas I absolutely love when you're on the carousel in Paris and they're playing Mary Poppins music from mm. the organ and yeah, that's why my horse is always called Bert. Bert. So next up is something that we get every month, although we are missing January, so if anyone spots a space mountain, let me know, <laughs> <laughs> um, is the plush. So, there's a close up of the plush. Obviously, Shop Disney not protected the ears, so they are bent back, which means I have to put something heavy on them to make them go forward. Mm. Um, and I also think the bow is not the greatest on this month. However, it's made up for, I think, in the dress. So, it's got like a cord um, type belt with a little flower. And then the actual skirt has got carousel horses on it, but it's some sort of like as little banners um, with a pink dress underneath, and just the normal shoe and painted. I just think from the pictures, the gold looked so in your face yeah. on the pictures, and it didn't look like it would go properly at all. And then actually, I think this might be one of the prettiest ones that yeah. they've done. Now you had a few little minor faults with this one as well, didn't you? Yeah. So other than the sort of standard ear the, issue the that you kind issue, of yeah. get used to. Um, mine had like extra stitching on the eye, which I have cut away, but I don't think you can tell. No, when I looked it was pretty hard to see where you'd actually cut away. Yeah, so it was basically, it was like the embroidery had gone over um, ever so slightly, and because I've got sewing Stuff. I basically just used my sewing scissors and just fixed it a little bit. Um, I could have probably said to Disney about it, but I know some people have said that the dress that they had on the mini has come really, really creased, and because it's like this sort of Fin's banner there. type design, mm. it's harder to sort of press it. Yeah. Whereas the dress on this one is pretty much perfect. Mm -hmm. It's got a little kink in the back, but equally, it'll probably be sat on my shelf, so not really that bothered. So I kind of didn't want to risk the dress yeah. getting messed up yeah. for an eye that I could fix. And this month's uh, tag has got a picture of the carousel horse, and then inside it just says, round and round, up and down, travel by steed or chariot on one of our whimsical designed carousel rides. Each intricately crafted seat is set against a reeling backdrop of captivating colours and musical merriment. Hang on for a delightful whirl on this classic attraction. And that's just sort of like in a little shield or banner. So next up is the mug. Ooh. Take it out the box, it's going to go out the box anyway. I know it is, but I just thought I'll show the box. <laughs> the box again. is quite pretty actually. All decorated up, got all the usual bump on it. And a carousel horse. And the spiel on there is the same as it's on the, the same as on tag. the uh, tag of the plush. And of course these are stackable but 12, 12 of them stacked on top of each other. That's just yeah. asking for problems isn't it? I reckon you could get away with, I mean it's asking for the same problems as you trying to get in to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finally. <laughs> I reckon you could get away with uh, Six. Yeah, doing two, two piles of six. So, this is a little like the Tiki Room one in that this is glitter on the front. So, yeah, you don't want to put this near a dishwasher. No. Um, it's got a crown and then the little sashes that are on uh, the plush with the carousel horses on. And that's the inside. Nice uh, pastel blue colour. It is a really nice blue, actually. Yeah, it is, yeah. 
it's the kind of blue that I feel like I'd take into being here and be like, can I have this in my kitchen? <laughs> Isn't that duck egg? Oh, I think it is. Something like that. Get you, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> my hair's long, it's not that long. <laughs> I will say my mug does have a little imperfection on it. What? Because <laughs> I can't see it. On the bow, it's chipped a little. Oh no, it's not chipped, it's a scuff. It's like a little scuff. Again, shop Disney packaging because yeah. that was the bit that was facing out in the box. Uh, it's like tiny. Uh, uh. It's, it's like completely. That's such a dad thing. Give it a lick, it'll be fine. It is fine though, look. Oh, I very much dislike that. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it was scuffed up, but that that could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it could. The... Because that was just loose, it didn't have any protection around it, no bubble wrap or anything like that. It was just in the box, thrown yeah. in um, with everything else. So. And that sort of glitter effect that they put on top of the of the, uh, of the mugs could get chipped off quite easily by another loose pin in the box, which we know Shop Disney are really good at doing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so. That's nice. So I guess that's yours then. Well, I'm thinking like your that day that's, to day, I mean. yeah, that's going to be like my proper day to day. I have got the small world one, but you like that one too much. Oh, but then that, that one's glittery and the small world one. Oh. I, I mean, maybe I should just have a rotation of tea. <laughs> I just use my tiki room one because I love it. So. And then the last thing that we always try and get every month. Well, again, with limited success. Limited success, indeed. Is the pins. Pins! Of course. You have to hold them up. We all know that pins don't focus for me. Yep. So, we've got the ears, we've got mini, and then we've got a carousel horse. I've got to say, the carousel horse looks really nice. That's a proper little standout pin. It is. That is possibly the nicest sort of standalone pin. Because obviously the ears and the mini are the same. Yeah, so they're sort of flat shaped, whereas these are sort of in like 3D effect. Yeah. And it's like the tiki room ones, it was nice, but sort of the enamel and the paint wasn't too great, whereas that is absolutely fantastic. The detail is there and everything, and the shape. Now, would it look odd going with my Mary Poppins paint collection? That one? Probably not, no, because it's got that sort of pink, white, pastel sort of colouring from Mary Poppins mm. and that entire scene was in sort of pastel colours. Yeah. So I actually think that fits really nice. So yeah, this month I'm very impressed with the pins, I'm not sure what you think about them. I love them. <laughs> I, I just love the colouring on them, to be honest. You're a sucker for pastel colours, aren't you? I am a bit, yeah. <laughs> She says that she's wearing sort of a pastel green t-shirt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Stitch's ears is a pastel purple. I don't think Stitch counts as pastel. So there you go, that is our somewhat whistle stop tour of July's Minnie Mouse main attraction. Next month's Dumbo. Yeah, this one's going to be difficult. I'll be honest, I don't like a lot of the Dumbo stuff. I feel like they've just gone a bit overboard with ruffles and yeah, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. But it's a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I wasn't feeling the mini plush for the carousel. Yeah. And I love it. So it might be one of those that you might change your mind when you when you get it. Yeah, because I am gonna try for the plush yeah. and for the pins. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to try for anything else, I don't think. No. So I think I'm doing this from memory. But the lounge fly for August is um, a bum bag or fanny pack if you're in America. Right, so like what they did for pirates. Yeah, and I'm not feeling it. No. Because, yeah, I just it's not something I would ever use and it's just ruffles as far as the eye can see. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, for me, I'm not collecting anything because I got the tiki room and then I'm just sat waiting for Haunted Mansion and the absolute scrum that's going to be to get them. I mean basically at this point I'm hoping that the actual Shop Disney stores 
have got haunted mansion stuff because yes. I would rather queue up from 6 a.m. than try and deal with that website for. No, uh, yeah, I'll take queuing outside for over over that online experience any day of the week. That is it. We could rant for like. <laughs> we could go on for hours about this. Yeah, there could be an entire series of things that Shop Disney have done that have annoyed us. Yes. I mean, just in the last 24 hours, D23, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there's one for another day. That's a future video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've disliked it, give it a thumbs down. It does the same thing, so knock yourself out. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, hit the subscription button and click the notification bell. You might get notified. It you might, might work. You might not. Who knows? Generally, do the YouTube stuff. Do the YouTube stuff and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.